Well, the players make their way out for the Marathi final of the under-16s here at the home of club football, Springfield Stadium. Today, the under-16s will play for a winner-takes-all trophy as the sides make their way out and will line up the officials with them, handshakes all around. The under-16s for Jersey starting 11 will be in goal, Thiago Duarte. Kyle Wilson, number two, Harry Davey, three. Their captain is Fergus Boyle, wearing four. Thomas Goncalves, five. Six, Max Stefanski. Seven, Casey Nixon. Eight, Finney Thompson. Nine, Callum Gilroy. Ten, Joey O'Toole. And 11, Connor O'Keefe. And they have five substitutes today. 12 will be Evan Lees. 14, Charlie Blair. 15, Harry McKenzie. 16 is James Thornton. And the reserve goalkeeper wearing 21 is Charlie Chow, managed by Jody Byrne, coached by Dan Sevior. The physio is John Lloyd and Jason Carpenter doing the goalkeeping coaching duties. For Guernsey under 16s, starting 11 in goal, Ollie Miller. Two is Gilbert Hunter. Three, Sam Cooley. Four, Harvey Migasiuk. Five, Zach Gilman. Six, Mackenzie Duckworth. Seven, Emerson Nobes. Eight, Harry Hodgson. Nine, Jack Griffin. Ten, and captain Archie Lahore. Eleven, Leon Solano. They have also five subs. Jimmy Montgomery wearing 12. 14 is Finley Patterson. 15, Henry Marsh. 16, Ben Wilson. And reserve keeper is Louis Mayer, who wears 19. Their management is Ross Allen and assisted by Dave Gilman. Well, there are four officials today on duty as it is a cup final. The referee in charge of proceedings in the middle is Andrew Norman from Jersey. The senior assistant on the far side, the dugout side with the managers, Tony Saar from Guernsey. And on the near side, assistant junior referee is João Paulo Martins from Jersey. Fourth official, Mark Lacornu of Jersey. Well, this is a one-off final. The victorious side will claim the trophy. And Mr. Norman just makes his final checks, checking with Duarte and Miller and his assistants. And scheduled to kick off a little bit early here today, 12.30, just maybe a little bit early. And we're underway. Well, Guernsey will knock it back. Hodgson with the ball forward there. Good header in the middle, looks Boyle early into action. Played out to the far side, which will fall to Nobes. Early throw in for Guernsey, who started pretty well, getting on the front foot there. A little bit of a nudge there, maybe in the middle there. Is it Duckworth? Well, here comes Jersey, good skills here. Now, looking to play it forward for Nixon. Good play there by O'Keefe. And it'll be interesting to see how the under-16s fare here, but there's an early ball through. Miller reads it well. well. Bright start here. In contrast to what we had, or we do now have weather-wise. Gilman challenging well, then flicked on by Hodgson. And again, Jersey just trying to break out. Nice spin and turn by O'Keefe. He's got support to his left. He plays it out there for O'Toole. O'Toole now into the box, look to square it, flicked on. Well, Nixon is coming in at the far post. Lovely little flick on in the middle. Nice play there by the under-16s who break quickly and just unable to find the shot on target and the back heel just not quite going their way. But good play there this time by Gilroy. In it comes again, looking at the near post, looking for the flick on it comes and at the back, oh, well at the back post was Goncalves and he just had to steer it towards the target, he wasn't able to get onto it. Lovely flick on, looks like it was Fergus Boyle there at the near post. It's gone in this game here at Springfield, still no goals and bad kick there by Miller given away to O'Keefe. O'Keefe turns his man, he goes inside O'Keefe, he's going to try the shot, turns again inside, shoots! Oh, good save by Miller and the shot comes, it hits the post and in the middle again is well, somehow, the woodwork coming to the aid there of Guernsey after a fine save by Miller. The rebound comes out. Not quite sure he got the shot off in the end, but woodwork the saviour. Nixon coming back deep and a sliding challenge comes in. And, well, it's a chance now for Griffin. Shot comes in. Good save by Duarte. Double save in the end. Good full length to his left. And just as... 
Lahore was bearing down. He managed to just make sure he got hold of the ball again. Again, nearly everyone forward. And it comes near post. Header comes in. Oh, good save. Well, the header comes in from Stefanski and Miller again has to get down and quickly to his right. Gets two hands to it. Played short. Battle there between Griffin. And it comes from Casey. Oh, forced the edge of the box. Can Thompson get there? No. Gives away a bit of a foul there. Well, that is the end of the first half, of course. 40 minutes only in a half for under 16s. Not quite going the full 45. It's been a decent first half. Jersey and Guernsey evenly matched. A couple of chances for both sides. But as they head into the break, it's Jersey under 16s nil. Guernsey under 16s nil. It will be Jersey who will get us going in this second half. And they will play from the Roberts garage end. Duarte in goal is ready. Miller at the other end is ready. Mr. Norman looks at his watch. And we're underway here. Our ball goes back and oh, short ball played there. And Guernsey looking to make headway there with block chance. Played forward. Oh, and a mistake there nearly by Stefanski. And Duarte off his line quickly across the ground. Not affecting the players though. Probably quite cooling as the sun flits in and out from behind the clouds. And now good ball down the far side. It's Nixon again. Oh, skills by him. Cuts inside, still going. Where's well, he brought down? Well, the shouts for a penalty. It's not going to be given. His arms are outstretched, but nothing given by Mr. Norman, who waves it away again. Middle is Griffin. Plays it near it towards the penalty box. Flicked on. And it's in. Well. Guernsey have got the goal. Nobody challenged, and it's just a check who scored the goal, but it, it's 1-0 to Guernsey, and it's a goal that's come from nothing from the free kick, and it is, in fact, their number seven. It's Emerson Nobes with a touch, and he just gets there ahead of everyone. He's not really put under any pressure. What looked like an innocuous shot, it just glances it and kind of directs it towards the... Right hand corner, the left as we look at it, and it's 1 0 to Guernsey. And straight away, here come Jersey on the attack. Good play, Boyle looking now to get it in. Shot! Oh, what a save again by Miller. And this time, O'Keefe cuts in. Miller full stretch. It looked like the equaliser within seconds of the restart. Boyle again gets it, plays it forward. One touch, Thornton. Thornton. Has O'Keefe. O'Keefe trying to get past Hunter. Hunter standing strong. O'Keefe still going. Still going. Gets a cross off. Boyle crosses it. Falls. It's a goal. Well, it's an equaliser. It didn't take long. And it is, looks like the, win, the equaliser has come from Casey Nixon with his left foot. He's certainly going after to get the ball. And it is Casey Nixon who gets the equaliser here. And Miller, for the first time this afternoon, is beaten. Not a lot he could do, but you did feel it was going to come from the under-16s of Jersey. They've just piled the pressure on since they went behind to the Nobes' goal. And they're now back level. Jersey get it back. Gilroy now squares it into Lees. Lees going, checks the shot. Oh, and a save again by Miller. Well, he has absolutely kept his side in it today. Another save, this time flying to his left, two hands to it. Well, he's quite tall keeper, quite lang long and gangly, but he has been superb today, Ollie Miller. Another fine save, this time from Lees, who makes his way into the box. It's going to be a corner, though, to Jersey. In it comes. Header comes, it's a goal! Well, Jersey have found it, a towering header. It looks like it's Goncalves with the header. It's Thomas Goncalves. He rises above everybody in the box. A superb delivery. A Nixon swinging corner in. And Thomas Goncalves with a towering header. Keeper no chance. As good as Miller's been, he was not getting anywhere near that. And Jersey under 16s have got the lead.
with about, well, maybe 10, 12 minutes to go. Hodgson plays it forward. Looking for Griffin. Griffin's in a tussle there. He's in a tussle with Stefanski. And the ball shot comes in. Duarte at the near post. Well, out of nothing, they nearly created something there, Guernsey. And Duarte was alert the near post he had to be. He stood still, stood up as well, and was able to take it in the chest, but pulled off the save. And away, and it's won back by Jersey. And there goes Gilroy. Can he square it? He's trying to. Cut out, but given away again. Here comes Jersey. The shot comes in. Oh! Well... It looked like that was going to be game, set and match. The shot coming in. And in the end, it was again Evan Lees coming in from that right-hand side. He's been pretty dynamic. Bobby McKenzie's flicked on. O'Keefe charges it down. Gilroy squares it. Cut out again. Now to McKenzie. McKenzie pumps it in. Goes to the goal. Oh! Well, was that a cross? Was that a shot? We'll never know. But in the end, it just lands on the top of the roof. And for a second, it looked like it was going to creep into the top left-hand corner. And it is Gilroy who's running it into the corner himself. Got five around him. And that is it. The final whistle from Mr Norman. Jersey under-16s are the Marathi Cup winners for 2023. They have seen off. A really valiant effort from the Guernsey under-16s who were kept in the game throughout by their goalkeeper, Ollie Miller, who had an outstanding game in goal. He is sitting down by his left hand upright. He couldn't have done any more. But in the end, it was just that little bit of extra class, maybe, that came from the Jersey under-16s. The goal coming in the second half from Emerson Nodes for Guernsey to open the scoring. It was cancelled out by a Casey Nixon strike. And then from his delivery from the corner, a towering header coming from Thomas Goncalves. It made the score 2-1. And from then, the score stayed the same until the end. A really entertaining afternoon's football here at Springfield Stadium. A great advertisement for the game and for the future. We will go up the stairs. And we'll receive the trophy. Up first is Duarte, the keeper, followed by Stefanski, McKenzie, Lise is in there, Thornton, O'Toole buys the victory for the Reds of Jersey and the trophy is in the hands of Fergus Boyles and the traditional Champions Champions is ringing out here at Springfield Stadium.